Hi guys, it's Courtney and Reagan back with another Monster Jam toy video. And here we got the 2021 Spin Master Monster Jam El Toro Loco Evolution 5 pack. And hey, this thing has some pretty cool stuff, some pretty not cool stuff about it. And we'll be covering that real quick. Look There's at the that. the box art is pretty cool on this thing. I will say that. So here we have all the El Toro Loco editions from 1999 to 2013. And also a bulldozer, which is, is not an Ultra logo, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Got yellow Ultra logo on the side. Here's the back of the box, showing all the different versions of Ultra logo. This is definitely not the 2001 vert one right there, <laughs> um, but uh, I guess they just decided to, you know, give us a little lie, you know. Throw it in there. And this is also bulldozer in like 2008 and 2009, so that's not very accurate either. This is accurate. This is accurate. 2013. Um, except for the BKTs right there. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to get ready to crack this thing open right now. They didn't even show the 2008 El Toro Loco on the back. I just realized that right now. <laughs> this one is not good. Everybody, like, the, the general consensus for this Spin Master product right here is that this is probably the worst thing that they've put out so far. Um, and not because the stuff looks the worst, but just because of how they presented it. Just how terribly inaccurate a lot of this stuff is and um how you know they they could have done a lot more like this is just completely lazy right here um there's a lot of problems that people have with this and we'll get into them as we open it so let's open it right now all right you guys so we have it out of the box and it was quite hard to get out it took a while but <laughs> we got it ready so here is the el toro loco evolution five pack and i guess let's go in order and start with 2000, or excuse me, 1999. Reagan said this was supposed to be 2013 down here, too. Yeah, uh, that is, I don't know if they, it's like that on everyone's package, but ours has a 2001 sticker where it should say 2013. Oh. There we go. That, oh. that took a while to get out. Okay, so here is our first truck right here. We have Bulldozer, which, something that, Everyone, including me, has applauded Spin Master for doing ever since they first came out with the Monster Jam line, is that they would never release the same truck twice. Um, but it looks like that has all come to an end with this El Toro Loco 5-pack. They couldn't give us any new color rims, maybe a slightly different color body, different horns, or just have the nose ring plain color instead of blue. Nope, everything is exactly the same as the... Uh, one that came out earlier this year for the 2021 singles. So here is the 20, uh, 2021 singles pack. This is the five pack. Let's go over the differences real quick. Could you focus that? Mm -hmm. If you look from the top, it just looks like the one on the left is a little darker. If you look at the sides, it'll be the same side. So it's a little more fair comparison. Um, there's not much different you can see. It looks like the fur pattern might be a little different, and it's a little darker on this one. I'm pretty sure this is the five pack one too. So there is pretty much nothing different about this one compared to the original bulldozer, which that is the first giant and probably biggest problem with this five pack, if you ask me. Moving on. So here is the 2001 El Toro Loco, the orange El Toro Loco, probably the most popular one because that's the one that runs the most, right? Yeah, um, they haven't run the yellow or black ones in, God, four or five years now wow i can't believe it's been that long since they've been gone but um el toro loco has always been a reddish orange color it seemed in recent years they transitioned it more to orange and let's get on to what is wrong with this one now we already went on what's wrong with bulldozer but what's wrong with this one is this is clearly not a 2001 el toro loco body 2001 was the first year el toro loco ever ran in monster jam uh, and this is not what it looked like at all. This is literally just a 2020, 2021 body of El Toro Loco slapped onto, um, not even an old chassis. This is just a normal tube chassis that they still use now. But the only thing they did is put the flotation tires on it instead of BKTs and called it 2001. This one, they could have at least moved the logo up here where it used to be, colored it to more realistic color. I don't even think the horn, the horns were white back then, not this yellow. Another terrible addition to this five pack so we're kind of getting it from uh worst to best here i do like this still looks cool as a toy just having the uh 
the normal non BKT tires on an orange Ultra Lego body. This is still cool. I like the way it looks, but it's not at all what they were trying to capture here. So that is why I call it terrible, period. So next, everybody, we have this one, which is definitely my favorite of the entire set for a lot of reasons. This is the 2008 El Toro Loco, which only ran for that year, and this one is quite accurate. This one has a nice flame pattern. I love that dark red. This was the first year I started watching Monster Jam when I was in um, 2008, so I was like six. And this one is really accurate. This one is really nice. I love the black rims. They didn't just do, you know, gray rims or anything. The black rims really pop. And for some reason, they decided to paint the headers on this too, which is different with this pack. They didn't really do that with any of the other trucks, but they did with this one. So that's really cool. I like this one. This one's uh, probably the most accurate of all these, or besides the black El Toro logo back there. But this one is really cool, and I don't think... I think that, yeah, the horns were probably yellow back then. Um, but this one is really nice. The 2008 Lupe Sosa El Toro logo. Really cool. Okay, guys, this is the 2013 El Toro Loco Black. It looks really cool. It's like Devil Bowl. Get it? And, um, yeah, I like. I really like the colors and the silver here, the flames, the red horns, the flames up here, and the black body. It's super cool. This one is probably the most accurate out of the entire uh, five-pack. Um, probably just because of the tube chassis. They didn't really have tube chassis like this back in 2008. I mean, they did, but not... Uh, they didn't look like this yet. <laughs> These are just more kind of recent, 10 years ago. Um, but this one's really nice. I love the orange rims with the uh, non-BKT tires. I love these tires. These tires look so cool in the trucks. They painted the headers silver for this one. And the Black Altar logo body is nice. We've seen the Black Altar logo body before. And here it is again. Looks really cool. And here we have the yellow El Toro Loco, everybody. And this one, again is not good <laughs> we got a great yellow el toro loco version in the singles packs last year in 2020 with uh bkt's printed and uh purple beadlocks and everything i don't understand why they did this with this one i mean all they could have done they could have kept the tires and rims the same and just painted the headers like they did with these two and it would have been great but they just gave us an el toro loco yellow that's never existed before at least that i've seen i don't i've never heard anyone say they've seen this before and um, I've never seen it before. I've never seen orange, like kind of like an orange red rim on a yellow El Toro logo before. This thing is, you know, it's still cool looking, but it is not all that impressive at all. So now we're going to line them up and pick favorites. Okay, everybody, here they all are lined up. Um, they look cool all lined up, all the different colors. Yeah, exactly. They do all look cool, but they're not, they do not capture any sort of accuracy at all. Um, the one that is the most accurate looking of all of them is the black El Toro Loco, if you ask me. That one is, like, the most accurate, and that's the thing with these five packs, is they always try making them accurate. And that red El Toro Loco from 2008 is really cool as well. I love that. That looks awesome. Um, but the rest of the three are not good, especially, <laughs> this is by far my least favorite, the repeat bulldozer. <laughs> Second least favorite right here. This El Toro logo that is makes no sense. And this is the only one with BKTs, too. They just gave this one BKTs, and all these other ones don't have them, which doesn't make sense. And this is, again, not good at all for a 2001 El Toro logo, but it still looks nice. I think this still looks pretty cool just as a toy. Um, but if I'm picking a favorite from this one, it has got to be the red El Toro logo. I love this thing. I'm surprised they ever made it a toy. Um, cause it's so outdated from Spin Master. This is 11 years, well, 2008 is like 13 years ago now. So really cool. Like that one. That one's my favorite. What about you? Um, I like the yellow El Toro Loco a lot. Uh, uh, it's not my favorite, but I do like the yellow one cause it's so different from the orange and it's got purple flames and the horns, the ombre. It's super cool looking. I love the flames. Um, but the black one's my favorite. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. A fan favorite El Toro logo. I think everyone's favorite in real life oh, is the black one. This one is beautiful in real life. Such a cool truck. Wish it still ran. But if you guys enjoyed today's review, <clears throat> make sure to subscribe to RC Toy Reviews for more Monster Jam content and other toys like mini brands and stuff. You can follow us on Instagram, RC Toy Reviews, uh, TikTok, RC.ToyReviews. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye bye. Thank you, guys.